Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play through a song called Fallen Eagle by Stephen Stills of Manassas. And we're going to start on an E major chord, and we play E major. First finger goes to the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from our E major, we're kind of on our intro, and kind of the violin solo, we're, we're going to an A major chord, and we play A major chord. First finger goes to the D string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we're going to be going back to our E major chord. And then we kind of start that over E major, E major, A major, A major, A major, E major. A lot of times with a song like this though to make it more interesting I like adding something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so we took the E and just tried that a lot you'd have down down up up down up 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 this is a really really fast tune you can get that strum pattern to work at a really really fast pace but if you're just starting out actually a really good way to kind of work it would be doing kind of an E with the whole strum pattern E with just a down down up an A with a down down up and then A with the whole strum pattern and then kind of a down down up on A and then a down down up on E so we kind of tried that through our whole intro we got just kind of some halfing places where we have E with a down down up up down up E down down up A down down up A down Kind of think about using that through the song. Now something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes and a lot of times on that very first down, up and down, down, up, up, down, up, you could do a bass note for the chords. So you have you with the bass down, up, up, down, up, you with the bass down, up, up, down, and on the A you'd have an A string for your bass. So you with an A bass down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through kind of that intro we did. You with the low E bass down, up, up, down, you with the low E bass down, up, A with an A bass down, up, A with an A bass down. So you may want to kind of play around with that. Now if you're really, really fast at the down, down, up, up, down, up, then you can kind of work it out uh, kind of full blown. It's kind of the E down, down, up, down, up, E. sounds like is that it's doing something called a country feel and, and what I mean by that is a lot of times that traditionally in country the bass player will kind of play what's called the root of the chord which is what we're using for our bass note and then go to something called the fifth of the chord so on an E chord you have E F G A B note would kind of be your fifth so you could kind of do the low E string for, for the root and then a down and then the A string for the fifth and then a down on your E chord and that's more kind of a traditional country feel it's very full of prison Johnny Cash <laughs> Um, and then for the A chord, you have the A string for your root, and then the low E string for your fifth. So if you wanted to, you could kind of work it that way too. It's kind of the E, E, A, 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 E, low E bass, A bass, E, E, A, 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 E. And then from
from there, then we'll be going into our verse course. And our verse course kind of starts the same way, actually. We still kind of do our E major change, our E to A, and then our A major, and then our A to E, and then our E major, and then our E to A, and then our A major, and then our A to E. But then we go to a D major chord, and then we play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And your bass note for the D chord would kind of be the, the D string, actually, in front of that chord. So if we tried our verse chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we could kind of take it back to kind of that slower version, especially if you're starting out. That might be a little bit easier is doing the E down, down, up, up, down, up, E down, down, up, A down, 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 up, down, up, A down, up, down, up, A down. Try, try kind of doing that with our bass notes. And we have E with a bass, down, up, up, down, E with a bass, down, A with an A bass, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, E with a low E bass, down, E with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, E with a low E bass, down, A with an A bass, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, E with a low E bass, down, E with a D bass, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. And then from there, then we kind of be alternating those pieces. Or if you're fast enough with the down, down, up, up, down, up, we can kind of work that kind of the full blown down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have you with the down, down, up, up, down, up, E, 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 E,